Hey everyone, welcome back. We are here for CC Cycle 1 and this is week 14. So today we are learning in math linear equivalence and we start out in class by just showing what these measurements look like, the ones that we can show on a measuring rod. So uh, I have here the one inch already out and in class we just point out that a centimeter 2.54 uh, centimeters is one inch. So if you picture that within the centimeter, it ends up being almost like the size of one of their pinkies maybe. And so we point that out, what a centimeter is, then what it inches, and then all the way to what 12 inches looks like, which is a foot. And we go from there. So we sing this to the tune of supercalifragilisticexpialidocious from Mary Poppins. And it sounds like this. 2.54 centimeters equals one inch and 12 inches equals one foot 5280 feet equals one mile and one kilometer equals five eighths of a mile and that is how we cover math for english we are moving on to helping verbs and we're going to actually be singing the same tune for the next six weeks because it's all about helping verbs. And uh, this week we're learning the definition of what a helping verb is and the tune sounds like this. We're doing this to the tune of this old man. A helping verb, a helping verb helps another verb assert action, being, or existence. Helping verbs make lots of sense. And then for the following weeks we'll add on to that tune through week 19 with all the different uh, helping verbs. Okay, for history, we have tell me about trade in Africa. And for this, it actually ties in with some of our geography. And so we, I will have drawn up on the board, Western Africa that I just already used from week 13. And we will point back to these areas. So ancient Ghana, Mali, and uh, those areas that the history song is referring to. And the tune that CC provides is actually has a lot of this sound in it. And so we're going to use shakers this week to shake and maybe beat on the table while we sing the tune that CC provides for history. And that's how we're gonna do history. Point to those locations on the map and sing the tune as we all use our shakers in class together. Okay, for Latin, we are covering the noun cases again. And just like last week, we have our little friendly mouse. And what we'll do this week is probably take turns at volunteering to come up and lead the class with the mouse and going through those noun cases. And once again, it sounds like this to the tune of three blind mice. Latin noun cases, Latin noun cases, nominative subject, Genitive, possessive, dative, then direct object, accusative, direct object, ablative, object of the preposition. And that's our Latin noun cases. For timeline, we are on Columbus sails to the Caribbean. This tune kind of holds out for a while, so you're doing this motion. This is C for Columbus, and then we're making a boat or a ship in the water. And then we have, the song says, 1500. So last week we learned the motion for 1400. 15, you just put all your five hands facing out, including your thumb, and go like this. So 1500 AD, and then it goes age of absolute monarchs. We are raising our hands slowly and putting a crown on our head, like absolute monarchs. Then we have Protestant Reformation. And for that, we're gonna do two R's and we're going to make the sign for change, Reformation. And that is to go like this. So Protestant Reformation. And then we have the Spanish conquistadors in the Americas. So we're gonna do the same sign for Spanish, which is the capes that they wore when they did their bullfighting. So Spanish conquistadors. We're going, they were volunteer soldiers and explorers. So we're gonna make the sign for soldier when we say conquistadors, and then in the Americas, like we're exploring. So that is the sign for Spanish conquistadors in the Americas. And the next one is Calvin's Institute of the Christian Religion. And for that, we're gonna do a C for Calvin. Calvin's Institute of the Christian Religion. 
and the next one is Council of Trent and that was a meeting of Catholic bishops and it was all about change of the Catholic Church from within and so we're going to do the sign for change again change and then we're going to do the sign for within so you're grabbing all those things and doing it from within changing from within and then the last one is baroque period of the arts so that was a time of excessive decoration and decor so the sign for decor is or decorating is to just go like this and we're going to put up lots of decorations all around and that is baroque period of the arts and that is all of timeline for geography we are studying ancient africa like i said it ties into our history statement this week and I'm going to be using these maps from uh, CC Connected by I think it is yes Sandra Homemaker. These maps are awesome because they show the whole globe so that you can get a context for exactly where you're talking about and then you can color coordinate the different locations. So this week we are learning about ancient Ghana and ancient Mali which is right here in green, Ghana's highlighted in the yellow highlighter. Then we have over here, the Western Sahara, and then we have Fez and Tangier. And those are our locations for geography this week. So we'll go through them and point those out and label them with colors, and that's how we'll do geography. And for science, which is our last subject today, we are going to be covering what are three kinds of rocks and we will sing this to the tune of we will rock you and it sounds like this oh and we have hand motions too so it's uh, sedimentary we'll go like this and for metamorphic which means that it's been changed by heat and pressure we're going to do this like it's fire and then we're gonna be going doing the sign for change okay and then the last one is igneous which is uh, lava or magma that has been cooled so we're going to flow like lava and then turn into a rock once it's cooled so the tune and the motions together look like this three types of rocks are sedimentary metamorphic and igneous three types of rocks are sedimentary metamorphic and igneous and that is our motions for science that's all of our memory work for week 14. for review this week we are going to play dress up the tutor or a mom or dad in class we'll see how that turns out with who ends up getting dressed up but basically with that game uh, we answer review questions rapidly and every time that you answer your review question you get to be the one who puts something funny as a dress up on the tutor or whoever we pick to to be dressed up so i have things like silly noses glasses mustaches uh whatever's in our dress up bin that we can add to it and that will be super fun for review um, that is all for week 14. Hope you guys all have a fantastic week. Hope this is helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.